Hey, Push No Push Net. Uh, a new video, kind of an update and uh, a little concept that I was thinking uh, last week I cook something and I thought that it never, never occurred to me uh, to talk about it in a prep uh, uh, situation. But then um, I was like, hey, that would be a good thing. And then when they started to read it, I was like, it is actually a good thing because yeah, it's kind of built for that. So, uh, wanted to show with the picture now. Uh, my two month prep is all done. Woohoo! <laughs> I received my two last items. Uh, so, as you can see on the picture here, I got a 30 day, uh, one of those like 30 days um, buckets, uh, good for 30, uh, for 30 years. Uh, food and stuff um, I'll link down a um, video from Canadian prepper there's a whole uh, bunch of other people too that reviewed it uh, I saw some uh, tasting of it looks pretty good um, so I just wanted to have this long term uh, like uh, thing that I can just hook somewhere one purchase and kind of that's it uh, so um, so now I have that so this is one full month uh, it's for one person but it's one full month and it could be kind of put for two people I presume because uh, when they say one full month is like uh, three meals a day uh, I never eat three meals a day I always eat usually two so I always have like a breakfast and a lunch uh, sorry a, a breakfast or lunch uh, depending of the time I get up and things like that and then uh, usually have like a late dinner with some munchies in between uh, so I may buy another uh, bucket I, th I think actually uh, maybe not now because like I have this but uh, in a near future bucket like of uh, fruits uh, and vegetables I know or uh, just fruits there's buckets with them uh, and uh, one of the reason would be for that to uh, one like to have munchies in between uh, so uh, in between meals and things or to actually uh, make uh, recipes and stuff like that so I got now that I got my uh, bucket with rice and uh, now uh, also with the uh, aqua brick uh, the water system now I have one brick that uh, will be for food because right now one brick is filled with water because I had two bricks in the beginning so now I got four bricks in total two are for water so that's uh, three days uh, worth of uh, water for uh, two people and uh, the uh, other brick now uh, the, the, the extra brick will be filled with beans and so that will take care of my other because now with the rice I had, I figured it out maybe two weeks-ish. Uh, but now with beans and stuff, I'm definitely going to be the other month. So that that's how I take care of my two months in total. Uh, so now I got the three day, 30 days of, uh, of that food plus uh, food. And then the water I got for sure. Um, if uh, Well, for two people, I got two water for three days so that means almost like four days if I'm by myself uh, but sometimes you know my mom comes and visit or family comes and visit so I would be good to have like some water on, on hand here um, and the the system by himself and I'll put a link as well uh, engineer 75 or something like that did a great review of this I, I saw uh, some good reviews about it uh, the system himself uh, clear a lot of the bad stuff so just you put water in and you pump this stuff and it uh, clear and it clears a lot of water so uh, so I'll be able to process a lot of water with those those bucks and if I would have to mobilize out that's my goal would be to um, pick uh, two of the bar and because they're bricks and that's their advantage their way to set up and everything I would be able to put um, the bricks on and uh, just leave uh, depending of if I think I'm, it's going to be a short term, so like a, a week or two weeks, or if I think it's longer term, then I can pick up the 30-day uh, pill 
Um, and obviously those will be distributed at uh, different place so that uh, I don't have my eggs in one basket. Uh, so uh, so yeah, now I uh, accomplished my uh, goal for 2017. So now the year can finish. <laughs> I still have to work on safety, uh, on security. Uh, but yeah, food-wise, I, I did it. So that, that's pretty good. So um, obviously, you know, it will increase as, as things change and uh, all that. But uh, Nudge to put it, uh, did some overtime, purchased this stuff, and voila. <laughs> so I got my two months now. And one of the things that kind of... Um, not convince me, but like really kind of push me back to do it a little bit more. Uh, and there'll be links down. I was listening to the great podcast. I think it's a little bit old now to a year or two years, but it's uh, a podcast about um, the earthquake, mostly for here where I live in Vancouver. But it, she did a very good job because uh, it's a five part, six part um, uh, podcast. And uh, each podcast is a time uh, time frame in, in um, after the event. So, kind of the first podcast, they explain the difference uh, earthquake that could happen, and then day one is twenty four hours after, and seventy two hours after, one week after, and then two months after, and then there was a twenty fifth. 20 it's been a few years so maybe even 2010 there was this big earthquake there everybody always talks about it and I always forget it's in New um, New Zealand and one of the reason they always talk about it is because it's pretty similar to what we would get hit with over here and how much damage it did and stuff and so there's a lot of lesson learned from there it was a lot of liquid liquefaction uh, uh, there was a lot of their structure down and stuff and so it's a little bit like here's what it would look like when that that earthquake happens uh, so they're learning a lot of their lessons and actually it's kind of it's sad for the people that it happens to but it, it kind of scared a lot of the people here and say um, made a lot of the groups go on overdrive because they saw what kind of damage that would do uh, and they were like whoa okay time for us to uh, put our uh, sleeves up and go to work uh, so it was a good wake-up call for the people here in BC um, so yeah when I was listening to that I'm like oh yeah I <laughs> need my two months because <laughs> um, a lot of that's what they kept saying is like the 72 hours is a good start but minimum now it's more like one week and a lot of places that we're reading now yeah i think i think even fema increased to one week not just the 72 hours but more like the one week two weeks preparation and um if that earthquake would hit two months is actually uh, you would start seeing maybe a, a functionality again um and um um uh, so uh, and also with pandemic uh, that would be about the same thing because obviously those are like disaster and stuff but uh, in a pandemic like the uh, f uh, Spanish flu and things like that uh, they, they expect that the about the workforce I think with the numbers I saw was like 40% would be wiped out and it would take like a good uh, month or two for system to go back online and be able to get food and stuff like that so this is why my goal was the, that two month period uh, for many uh, uh, of those things and so so then after that would be more um, uh, economic, economic collapse so then would be longer and stuff but this is when I will have bigger uh, more space and things like that so uh, anyway uh, so that's um, that's the part for the food so now, uh, the little uh, gadget that not many people, so I don't know if uh, many of you know what this is, but um, it's called a tagine uh, or tangine or it depends on how you pronounce it and, and if you have an accent or not. Um, but basically it's the slow cooker of um, kind of uh, Asian, uh, Middle East, uh, it's mostly like Moroccan I think like the, is his origin but a lot of food is cooked this way so why would it be a good thing for prep uh, first 
like I was saying, it's like a slow cooker. So uh, things I was reading, like as soon as they ate breakfast, uh, they start cooking their uh, their supper. Because if you have a small um, uh, amount of heat, you put that on coils on coals, and you let it cook cook uh, for uh, a period of time, uh, and it will create. Uh, it's not heavy, so it's not like those. Um, uh, iron cast that a lot of time I see around it, which are pretty heavy, but this is uh, would be portable. Um, so the other advantage of this thing, uh, what it would do is that it would uh, it doesn't take a lot of water. Uh, so in a situation where you would be limited in your water and you would have to cook, uh, so for example, last uh, time um, I cook. A whole meal in there and this the beauty this is why I use it especially when I do a night shift I literally put all my stuff in there my rice my vegetables my meat you put that all in there put that in the oven uh, and me it's not really for slow cooking because I want to have a meal but I leave that for 45 minutes and I got the whole meal all cook all uh, steamed and everything so how the system works it's in his design so what happened is that the water the vapor of the cooking kind of goes on the top here and then at the bottom here because it has a dip as you can see here um, it redip uh, it uh, so the water recondense and then kind of form and so there's like a condensation that kind of rotates around the, the meat and so it keeps moistures inside um, so you just have to put a little amount of water and it will cook so in a situation where you would be um, limited in your water uh, and you have to cook like rice and things like that that is a perfect and especially a lot of the people their supplies would be that rice uh, stuff and so you you don't have to um, boil a lot of water and stuff and uh, you could uh, just because like last time I put my rice I put a little bit of water um, I put like again my meat put everything in put it in the oven and that's it so, so uh, if you would be in a disaster situation or a uh, self-reliant situation start a little fire uh, fire or the rest of your fire uh, you have a little bit of coal, coals left put that on put the amount a little bit amount of water you have leave that overnight uh, or during the day and uh, the the heat will uh, slowly and it uh, uh, the way the, the shape it's in the shape really that it and uh, usually it's made out of clay um, and it's it keeps his heat so it's a slow cooker but uh, the beauty with this is it doesn't need electricity um, and it can work on uh, things like uh, wood stove and uh, like like here this one goes into the electric stove um, there's some other ones too a little bit more expensive but they can go actually on direct heat um, so I was thinking even uh, last time when I tried my barbecue uh, for survival because I got the big propane tanks and stuff it was a little bit um, hard to cook rice inside uh, because I couldn't get the, uh, the, the water to boil but now with this I didn't, I didn't even think of that uh, but next time that I'm gonna because there's uh, an exercise that's gonna come I think in June um, I may do that to, for two or three days shut down again like I did last year and um, I'm gonna try this time cooking uh, beans and rice with that stuff which is a lot of people use so I think it's a good compliment for your uh, cooking uh, for your survival kit so yeah like I was saying good um, uh, kit to have especially if you're gonna keep a lot of uh, grains and stuff like that on board. So anyway I wanted to chat with uh, about you about my food prep and this little idea uh, for the tagine and I'll talk to you soon.